Hey Techies, Anthony from Hatchersnet here, and today we're going to restore a GameCube WaveBird controller from Nintendo, and um, this is over 20 years old. This is the original one I bought. Um, you can see the stick is a little bit loose, um, but I mean, we're not necessarily going to fix looseness more than clean the whole thing up, and uh, let me show you the back here. It takes uh, two AA batteries. Uh, I also have the adapter. I am the only owner of this. I actually remember in 2002 buying this. It was on a peg, super high up, inside a GameStop. So, uh, yeah, so here's the adapter. It's a standard GameCube adapter. And I will show a test of it. Uh, super sensitive, and if it isn't stick drift, it's just, it's just not picking up any subtle movements, which is whatever. So, what we're going to do is we are going to clean it. So, I picked up, and let me move this over. I picked up some WD-40. A lot of people recommended uh, BW-100. They don't sell that in this area. They sell WD-40. It's the, the company I remember from my youth. It's what my grandparents used. Uh, this, of course, is kind of cleaner for uh, electrical stuff. So it's just as good as BW-40, rating-wise anyway. Also, uh, for cleaning the shell, we got some isopropyl alcohol. We have uh, some cotton swabs and some uh, paper towels and i even bought a special set of screwdrivers uh were highly rated on amazon and of course i'm gonna need the uh two by 50 millimeter y bit i think it's also called like a nintendo bit or whatever but uh the pack comes with uh other bits plus uh phillips but they're all small scale so uh, obviously uh way smaller than you know, the typical screwdriver at size two or whatever. So this is what I'm going to start with. Now, this is the Super Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch. And um, I have an adapter hooked up so we can show what, um, you know, this controller does in this game. Uh, so... I want to turn it on, right? And as you see, second player joined. Right now, it's not negatively reacting. So, um, we'll just do a Sonic, and then with the first controller, uh, which is my uh, wireless switch controller. So uh, this Waybird, uh, being over 20 years old, and sorry for bumping the camera there, um, it typically has a problem that it... Oh, there it goes. Okay, so uh, it has gotten a little bit stick drifty, but right now it is acting pretty well. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. So, so it's overcompensating. Um, let's see, what else... Yes, yeah, so as you see, I am getting like serious boost into fast speed without uh, trying. So I have to really like slowly hit the controller just to avoid knocking Sonic out here. But uh, the goal for today is uh, we're going to clean this. And as you see from the thumbnail, uh, this controller shows its age. Um, not so much yellowing more than the fact that it's been played. Um, at basically tournament level for, for a few years. And um, I was expecting the stick drift to show more than just the fact that it's overcompensating here, but uh, it's not what we're getting. So let's do a diagnostic if the, if the, the Wii will, or the Switch will let me. So the Wave Bird on the Switch menu acts as a controller, obviously. Let's go to controllers here. Let's see what it shows up as. It shows up as a USB controller. Well, that might be because of the adapter. But let, let's uh, let's go back and see if we can do some system settings here. Uh, controllers and sensors. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Calibrate control sticks. Okay, so it's showing up pretty good. 
It's actually fairly center right now. There, it doesn't seem to be a problem. But let's, uh... I saw, I mean, oddly, uh, it is working fine. Uh, typically, it doesn't. Uh, but we are going to clean this controller uh, top to bottom. So that is the goal for today.
splint there, but I got it. Okay. So everything looks clean, and the next step will be to test it. Well, the deep cleaning has been done, and uh, let's check out how the uh, the controller now works. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, settings here. Let's try to show you that uh, it does actually work here. Uh, well, I'll test both sticks again. And here we go. We're going to start with this stick here. Okay, so you see it's dead center. Slight push all the way up. Fast up. Slight push all the way up. Right or left, I say. Right. Oops. Right. Okay, down. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's go back and do the right C stick. Okay, C stick. Slight all the way up. Uh, the back. Slight. Very good. Okay, so let's go to Smash Brothers and uh, check out how Sonic handles now. Okay, and we're back here and we're going to pick Sonic again. And then we are going to start on the other controller. And we're going to pick Mario again. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, it's going to be easy for me just to hold the controller with me. But uh, let's see how Sonic handles now. He walks. Wow. Jumps. Okay, what about downwards? Okay. Get into the move real quick. Oh, it doesn't instantly go to run. Sweet. Nice. Awesome. Okay, let's try the C-Stick. Oh, much better. So just cleaning out that gunk. Really. You really got to go all the way to get them to jump. Let's see how the other controller reacts if I try to do that with Mario. So the other controller is a little bit more sensitive, I guess because it's a new style controller. But as you see... All the same move, so we'll go back to Sonic. Barely any in, uh, push, but you get that. Yeah, so just much better. So I'm not running out of control. I got a little bit of a run. I can actually do this. So much better. So just much, much better. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on this video. Did you like what you saw, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.